Hello and welcome back to Motorsport Manager 3. So, we're continuing our series now. We're at Nordwijk. Next, there are three more, we're halfway through, so there are three more races left in the season. We have the best car on the grid. Our staff is third. Our drivers are really what's holding us back. So, we're still kind of slowly building up. We, we, you know, invested in a few new drivers this season. And so, we'll see where we stand. Um, our next year's car is definitely going to be really good again. So, I'm not too worried about our car situation. I'm really more worried about um, the drivers. So, we're... You know, focusing on one young driver, hopefully the other one we'll keep an eye on. Ta I think it was Tassin, right? Yeah. Max potential of 89. Um, most likely, we'll, we'll pick her up uh, once the season ends. But one of the things I'm trying to do is also get my influence up. We only have 69 right now. I usually like to hover in, you know, mid 100s. Um, yeah, let's do we want to build any parts? Let's see. That's the thing. It's like we have th the season's so short um, that it's almost not worth building. And just wait for next season. Let's see here. What we can, what can we do? They're just too expensive to to buy. The reliability is pretty bad on most of these. These brakes are okay, but our brakes are good. We really need rear wing we could steal it but that's a terrible reliability gearbox gearbox rear wing 814 I think we're fine honestly we just need much better drivers and I think we'll try and focus on that I mean our our balance sheet is doing really well, so we're we're bringing in over a million per race without any sponsor objective. So, yeah, we're definitely going to have to upgrade our drivers. I know we have a couple of paid drivers, so um, we'll see. We'll see how we end up. I mean, we're still in the second tier of the endurance, so um, let's go to the next race. Let's see how we're doing in the headquarters before we go, actually. We got four things building. Oh, we got... Ooh, we're going to get three things. Okay, after the next race. Supplier network is looking good. Okay. Let's continue. Oh, that's right. We do have the invitation. I totally forgot about this. Um, We're going to take the most money. Legend series. And I'll probably skip through this. Um, I don't know if you guys care to watch it, so. Or we'll just go really fast, we'll simulate. Uh, you know, I mentioned this in the past, but one of the things. Um, yeah, there are three races. One of the things with these invitationals is that there's such little difference. If we just go conserve and go on low, there's such little difference between, you know, money wise. 
between your first and last that it just it really doesn't make a difference where you land but on the flip side it's 10 million right we should have gone on hards but uh oh dilemma fuel's piling up yep 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 we know we know we know we know I really enjoy the, the aspect of the fuel and your speed and how, you know, the weight of the fuel actually is taken into consideration. I think that's a really cool um, part of this game. And it's the same with the PC version. Um, and I, th I think it affects the PC version, or at least it feels a little bit more realistic. Um, or realistic's not really the word, it's more so... You know, it's a, a, a stronger part, I would say, of the game where those, you know, should I take two laps versus, you know, five laps, you know, that, that really feels like it makes a difference. It'd be interesting if our strategy here does well for us. Eight laps remaining. Uh, I'm not going to change any tires. I'm just going to go for it. Let's see what happens. If we're not last place, that'd be great. But it's not looking good. Buckley and Melton. You know, I do kind of miss having just one driver to worry about. Um, less driver, you know, issues. But but also, I, I do enjoy having to invest into multiple drivers as well. Yeah, we're, we're dead last couple laps remaining. It's just, just too much taken off our tires. And race is ending. And we'll take that. Just go quickly through this. And of course, every time you, you simulate, you have to be last, right? Uh, let's change the setup, actually. And we're going to go on hards. Um, we're going to go 21 minutes. Nope, you can go 23 minutes. And we will go on hards as well. And you can go 23 minutes. Sure. Now it's interesting seeing, you know, five-star drivers at the endurance level, how they can go for basically half the race. Wow. They're going through their tires real quick. Yeah, the problem with this... The strategy here with the harder tires, I just feel like it doesn't 
work as well sometimes that you're just you're so far behind when they pit that I mean it is the invitational and you do get you know five star drivers but here we are in fourth and fifth 32 laps remaining Yeah, it looks sunny for the rest of the race. There's quite a bit of a gap between us and sixth. That's really interesting. It looks like the leaders are about to go in for their pit. No, they're not interesting. Let's see how far they're going to go. Well, we definitely have to pit one. Um, we can go five to seven minutes. Uh, we'll probably switch our driver here. We have half an hour left. Our driver can go 20 minutes. Oh, we'll stay on hard. I'm not going to fix. Uh, yeah. We'll take that. And so I won't refuel. Yep, yep. And then we'll pit. And so you pit. And then now we'll switch here. 23 minutes hard. Uh, 49%. I don't like that, but whatever. And then we'll pit too. Pit stop is a killer. But it looks like top five are definitely going to be pitting in the next five ish laps. So let's see if there's enough. I'm not liking that condition on that second car though. 37, we got to keep an eye on that. I see it. three cars now in the red. Okay, there's one that goes into the pit. Can we overtake? Yes. And we're really close here. To six. I think we can overtake six soon. They're on hards as well. But like really low. Under tire wear. Yep, there goes the pit. But we're still seventh and eighth. Uh, how are we doing? Twenty percent. We're gonna have to fix. There's no way that second car is going to make it all the way. That's unfortunate. And I think our two. Top two are going to have to pit as well. There's just too much time left. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to pit right here. Eight to ten minutes. No, they're not gonna make it. They're gonna they'll retire by the time. Uh, we have 14 minutes left. Yeah, we have to go on hards again. And we're gonna have to fix. And no change. Uh, 15 laps left. Yeah, that's way. That's a lot. So. Okay. We'll pit here. 12 minutes left. We can go on the mediums, I think.
blue flag for Sykes. Oh man, we got blue flagged. All right, and I think this is how we're gonna finish out the race, 10th and 12th. Nine laps remaining. I think one of the most exciting parts of the game for me, I guess, is the the young driver program. I I don't know what it is about finding drivers with like super high potential that's like really exciting. I, I don't know if it's the background in Football Manager where you know you find that player that's just you know has really high potential and just the enjoyment of seeing them develop over time. Um, that's definitely one part of you know the young driver program that I really enjoy. I just don't know if there's enough time for these young drivers to develop with a six race season. That's my only concern right now. I don't think time is accelerated, you know, depending on which season you're in. Oh, we ended up getting fifth. And this is our final race of the Invitational. Now we'll simulate. Monaco Grand Prix. Um, we will go on the Super Softs. I always like Monaco. It reminds me of uh, Gran Turismo 3 because um, I could be wrong. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Monaco for the S license, the final license, the final race of the final license. Um, I think you're in like a, a Toyota, I think it's called the GT1, something like that. And it just snap over steers like crazy. And I remember spending a whole day just trying to get that S license. Um, and it was at Monaco, pretty sure. And there's that famous tunnel as well, right there. Waiting for Dilemma to happen, I think it happens when you hit one, four. The gas here. 15 laps remaining, Buckley and Melton again. Twenty seconds behind. I wonder if Antoine Griezmann has quit as a soccer player and has started racing now. And they pit as well. Oh, uh, looks like yep, there it is. Yep, yep, we're fine, we're fine. Stay on medium. Let's have Buckley Pit. There is eight laps. We'll go on Hypersofts.
39%. Oof. Pushing it there. Let's see. Definitely the back markers here. Five laps remaining. I, I don't see anyone that's going to pit. I, I don't think our situation is going to change here. Another thing I've been wondering about is what the relationship is between having a good car versus good driver if one of them is slightly more important than the other. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know at what point, you know, you can have either an okay car and a good driver, or would you rather have the opposite? Because right now, you know, we have the best car, and we're, we're doing okay, but not as good as I would like. Alright, so we finished that up, the Invitational, and then we can finally get back to our main game. And there's our 10 million, which we desperately needed. We were cutting it a little bit close. I don't know if we've asked the our owner for money yet. He lost one offer, which is fine. Which seems like that was giving us a good amount. Um, going to continue to get, oh no, we do have three offers available. Let's take care of that then. Whoa, sponsor qualities are terrible. Um, we'll take that one. Four races only. And get some upfront front cash, get some influence. And there we go. So we're in fourth. Um, we finish up the Invitational. Heading to Nordwijk. And I'm excited to see what happens. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.